this reveals uh, a way of shooting film, We're starting with uh, three stories, which is kind of habit uh, in, in your in your career, and or two or three parts, mm -hmm. and uh, and also, so so this is the first thing, and the other thing uh, it's that you start shooting without real script, and that you are writing during the shooting. So, how, how could you explain First of this? all, we, we, we normally we shoot without uh, a script. It's not uh, it's, uh, uh, without a real script or fake scripts. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but we have an ideas. And um, my way of working is always started with the short stories because today I think uh, um, to make a film for 90 minutes, uh, there must be a lot of substances in it. And um, I would always have a short films I don't, idea, I don't know why, and I always start like uh, three stories or two stories. And sometimes it, it has two stories in it, and sometimes it has only one. Like Shunking Express, for example. Right, exactly. And sometimes you, you just forget the second one. Uh, I haven't forget it, but somehow it would become a, a, another films like uh, the relationship between Chunking Express and Fallen Angels, because uh, Fallen Angels at first we had three stories in it, but um, we finished two, and it's already a feature film. So we we skip the third one, and at the end uh, we make another film called Fallen Angels, uh, which is the third story of of the original Chunking Express idea. So you. We, we saw that you are writing during the, the shooting and you are also editing during the, the shooting. It's, it's, you, you don't divide the work in by step by step. Because I, I, I don't have patience, so, so I want everything to be done at the same time. But somehow it... It, uh, uh, it um, it also uh, uh, creates something that you can understand directly that, okay, this uh, is the right rhythm or not. So whenever we find the rhythm and then we, we were just shooting and wait until the end of the productions, then we start uh, uh, editing. And eventually you also start another film. Of course. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I always think uh, to make films... Uh, sometimes it would be good like a role movie or like a circus in the old times. So we, w we work together with a team and then we can keep shooting. And um, I always have a dream to make 10 films in 18 months, you know, traveling along. Because to me, I think uh, s people s ask, do you need a, a, a vacations? To make a film for me is... Uh, uh, the actual process of production is is vacation to me, and I join and I enjoy the process very much. So that's why the the, the shooting lasts so so long. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's because you just uh, fall in love with the films. You don't want to let go. Like uh, in the mood for love, we make it longer and longer, and we actually shot some of the footage in. Uh, 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 we want to make the films end in nineteen seventies. So. Um, we just keep running, and then at the end of the day, we know it's too much because we, we can't afford it, and so we have to stop. But it, that doesn't mean the story stop in my mind because that story can go on forever. So and and in, in the futures, maybe we can make that happen. Yes, and so twice you, you, you started a new film during the shooting of, of the film. That was, that was uh, Chunking Express during Ashes of Time, mm -hmm. and your next film, 2046, you started during the shooting of In the Wood Fall Off. How can you manage to, to combine two films in the same time, at the same uh, time? The, the, the experience is different, because um, uh, the case with Chungking Express and uh, follow, uh, Ashes of Time is because we spent like two years in make, a, uh, make uh, uh, Ashes of Time, and uh, we finally finished the shootings, and we have... Uh, our post productions editing, and we know the film will go to Venice, and that's uh, six months ago. And during that time, I think, uh, well, we have nothing to do, and I want to make a films, which is very fast. 
and uh, I want to to refresh myself. And I because I know um, if I stop in Ashes of Time, it would take me two years to make another film. And because that experience is is quite terrible, so so I need to 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 regain myself. I, I want to make Chongqing Express to make a film very simple, just like a student films. So uh, we made uh, Chongqing Express within one month. And um, in the case of In the Mood for Love and uh, uh, Two Four Six Actually, there's something that we don't expect it because um, because of the Asian financial crisis. So we we have to stop the production of In the Mood for Love because we, our finances in Asia have problems. So we have to uh, find the finances from uh, Europe and then we make the film again. But because we have commit the films Two Four Six. Uh, so we have to, at a certain point, we have to make two films back to back to each other's. But um, that experience is really uh, uh, terrible because uh, it's like um, um, you have to to fall in love with with two women at the same time. So it's terrible. And one is jealous of the other, or <laughs> no? Because uh, whenever you are shooting uh, in the mood for love, you think about two or four six, and there are some locations. With uh, at first we we went to Bangkok for two or four six, but uh, the whole process of looking for locations, we find all these places which we think will be good for in the mood for love. So at the end, we have to move the productions to to Bangkok. So, and and when we are shooting. Uh, 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 in the uh, two four six, we are thinking about in the mood for love, and so it's very messy. So I think everybody remembers that uh, last year you you achieved in the mood for love at the last minute and came with your print in Cannes. Um, how do you explain that? It's because I could see at that time that you had. You had to finish just because there were there was can. Well, actually, I have to explain to you. Jiu uh, uh, actually says um, working with us, and I I still remember the day when we get to Cannes uh, because we are the last film showing the festivals, and so we just arrive the day before the last days, and uh, and our print is still in Paris doing this uh, VAT, this um, um, LVT, this the electronic press kit. So um, even myself, we haven't seen a finished film. So it's it's terrible uh, 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 experience, but it's very exciting. But I don't want to try that again. <laughs> and this year, Zhou is working on another film, the Ho Xiao Xian's films, and it, it, he has the same experience. I think you should tell the audience about your experience dealing with directors like this. <laughs> it's, it's your fault because I think you spoke with Ho Xiao Xian. <laughs> And you told, you told him that was possible with us. <laughs> well, I think for directors, you know, um, you spend like uh, two years to make a film. So of course, you want to make sure everything's in. And, and, and so you will wait until the last minutes and to make sure that this is the best you can do. Well, actually, we, we, um, it's, called, it's not the first cut, it's the rough cut of the film. It's like three hours and there's only one love scene in it. There's not a lot. <laughs> And, and at the end, I think um, uh, we have 1970s and we have uh, uh, a long stories in, in Singapore. But at the end, I think that's too much because it's not completed. It, uh, we still need some more footage on it, but we, we can't afford to do that. And actually, I don't like uh, three hours films. I always think that a film should be like 90 minutes. I don't know why. Maybe it's a habit. So. I think uh, it, uh, I want to make it shorter. It's uh, going to be 90 minutes. And so we, we cut the films, and so it become in the mood for love. And the reason I, I, I didn't include the love scene in the film, because I think we don't need it. So at the end, I think, well, we should take it out. Yes, could you talk about your first American film to follow, <laughs> which I believe uh, premieres this week? Uh, with Mickey Rourke, Forrest Whitaker, and how it was to work in, was it L.A., uh, with, a, with a, an American crew? Well, actually, it's very interesting, because um, at first I, I, I want to make uh, that film, because they told me it, there's scripts already, 
there's a script and you shouldn't change the script. And so I think, well, it's good, so I don't have to write the scripts. And I, I look at the script and it's very simple. And it uh, has a lot of rooms for me to, to work on it. So I agreed to do it and it, it takes me only eight days. And I said, well, that's fine. It's like a vacation to me. So I go there and uh, with William and then we start shooting. And uh, at first we think, well, we should uh, work like um, a Hollywood directors. So this is your role and that's my role. And so I just follow the script. But some other script have some problems and, and this location have problems. So they, we began to change the script, and we began to change the locations. So at the end, I talked to Williams, hey, we are doing the same thing as we did in Hong Kong. Even though we have uh, every day on set, there's uh, like 30 trucks. I don't know why, because we're shooting only two persons. <laughs> but there's 30 trucks, and so it's like a whole army, but it's fun. Okay, let's do it, but we still do it the same way. But actually, so after the whole experience, I learned something. I think, uh, well, um, actually, um, the way people make films in Hollywood, they have their structures, and they, 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 must, they has, they has a, a reason for that. If we are going to make a films, a huge movies, like uh, a 50 million budget movies, so you, you have to work like this, because uh, in Hollywood, it is, uh, there's a lot of people working on one thing, and they don't, uh, they don't want to, to interfere with others, you know. And, but in Hong Kong, there's uh, one person is working on a lot of things. So this is the difference. But if you're going to make a very big movies, uh, a huge productions, you need uh, structures like this so you can work uh, very smoothly. Uh, if we are using the Hong Kong structures uh, to, to, to make a films like this, you, it will create a lot of confusions and a lot, uh, will be very messy. But if you're going to make a very uh, personal film, uh, a small films, I think uh, the Hong Kong structure is better. Well, the story is actually, uh, we want to make it as an opera because uh, we, um, in operas there's always the structures, it's, uh, it's like... Um, a stage work, and it uh, has Act One, Act Two, and the theme of uh, of operas is always uh, most of the time is uh, is promise and betrayal, and uh, the idea of two four six is about promises because um, uh, we have the idea of the film in 90, uh, 97 when Hong Kong going back to China and the Chinese government promised Hong Kong fifty years and change, and I think it is a big promise, so we want to to make a film about that, and we want to see are there anything that will be unchanged in life. So it's again three stories? Yeah, we have three acts. And how is it to be your own producer? Is it, uh, that's, that's comfortable, of course, but is it also a problem in the process of making the film? Well, because I think uh, uh, pr to produce a film is, is a full-time job. So uh, I have three full-time jobs by myself as a writer, director and producer. So I, 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 I'm too slow, you know, I, I can't make uh, a lot of films. So, uh, and, uh, but also it gives me a lot of freedoms and responsibilities because my first two films, they are, there's a lot of uh, people saying that, okay, you can make the films that you want, but you don't care about the producers. But I said, okay, I'm going to be, to be the producers, and I, I, I want to make sure I can survive. Well, I think, um, actually, you, you, uh, I, I haven't been to film school, and I... I always think to be a film to 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 spend some time in film school is good, so you can see a lot of films. You can uh, have um, um, meet some friends there, and but actually, honestly, I think uh, you can't learn uh, uh, how to make a films in in school. You have to learn how to make a films uh, uh, how to make a films in in your li in daily life. And how did you learn how to make films? What, what films did you did, did you see when you were young and where? Well, my experience is uh, uh, because of my background. I, I, I was born in Shanghai. I came to Hong Kong when I was five. 
And like uh, those characters in, in the mood for love, uh, we are Shanghainese and we don't speak the local language. And my mother's like uh, movies a lot. So we spend almost every day watching films, different kind of films. So it is, um, in Hong Kong we can see Hollywood films, Mandarin production, local productions, European films. So actually I think uh, my advice to film students is uh, uh, if you have a chance to take a look, uh, just see as much film as you can, uh, a bad films are good films. A good films can teach you something and, and a bad films can teach you something too. I think that's a, a good conclusion for this day on transmission. So thank, you. thank you very much.